Hello all, welcome to the next session on digital system design. In the previous class, we discussed about the decoders and the encoders. Okay, next we will move to the next topic, digital multiplexers. So what are digital multiplexers? Uh, digital multiplexers are a combination of circuits which have a multiple inputs and a single output. So we can say, so it's a combination of circuits which have a multiple inputs will be there and will be having a single output. So I will name these multiple inputs as I0, I1, I2, I3 like that up to IN or I2 to the power of N I will take. Okay. So these are the multiple inputs will be there and will be having only the one output actually. So that is what a multiplexer, multiple inputs and the one output, okay. Multiplexers even will be short form, we will go to call as a MUX, okay. So we can say MUX, okay. So well, how it will be the operation? So here the only one output will be there, any one of the input will be connected to the output. Okay, we will have a multiple input at a time any one of the input will be connected as an output based on the selection. Okay, so that means a multiplexer will have an three different types of data lines. So one will be the input data lines and there will be another data lines corresponding to the selection and then we will be having the output. So we can say, so multiplexer is a combination circuit that has maximum of 2 to the power of n data inputs in selection lines and a single output line. Here you can see that one the 2 to the power of n data lines will be there and the n select lines. So the resolution between the select lines and the data lines and these are the input data. So if we have an n bits of select lines then the inputs will have the 2 to the power of n. So assuming if you have the input is 2 for n max okay and we know that always output will be 1 so that means 2 inputs will be there. So already I said max is what? So we will go to connect the any one of the input to the output. To need to connect uh, this pin to the output or we need to connect uh, this pin to the output. Okay. To select this one, we will having a select line will be there. Okay. So according to this select line, since we have a two inputs, okay, so only one select line is enough. So, so since always we will going to work with the binary, so if the select line is a 0, then the here the I0 will be connected to the output, so it will represent it as an Y and similarly if the select line is 1, okay, then the I1 will be connected to the output. Like this a MUX will go to work. So that means we will going to select the any one of the input to the output based on the selection lines. So that is what is the operation of the MUX. So that means that if you having a 2 to the power of n input lines then we will going to have the n select lines will be there. So that is what here actually. A combination circuit okay, that has a maximum of 2 to the power of n data lines and having a one output line and will be going to have an n select lines will be there. Okay. So one of the data inputs will be connected to the output based on the values of the select lines. Okay. Based on the combinations of the select lines, any one of the input will be connected to the output. Okay. So this one. So similarly the operation of a MUX will be connected to a switching. Okay. So basic multiplexing switch. So assuming here we have a multiple lines are there, data lines. Okay. So we will be need to connect it to the output. So we having a single output. Okay. So the switch may be connected to the ear. This means the I0 will be the output. Okay. So Q will be the I0. If the switch is connected to the second input, so that means I1 will be the Q. I like that operation. But the selection of the switch is depends on the select lines. Okay, so this one, so select lines operation will be the switching, okay, according to that one input will be connected to the output, okay, so that we can say multiplexer is a combination circuit, it is having in 2 to the power of inputs and the one output according to the data value of a select lines, any one of the input will be connected to the output, okay, so here inputs to the power of n. So the general block diagram will be represented like this. Okay, the will be inputs will be the 2 to the power of n lines will be there and n number of select lines will be there and there will be only one output. Okay. 
so that that what so based on the values of the select lines okay multiplexer connects the 2 to the power of n output to a single output line okay based on the select lines whatever the data will going to be given so example there is what we can say 2 is to 1 multiplexer or even we call as a 2 to 1 mux okay so 2 to 1 mux means we'll be having a two inputs and we'll be having a one output and how many number of select lines is needed so since we have a two outputs so only one select lines is enough according to the s value so s equals to 0 then y will be i naught if the s equals to 1 then the y will be i 1 so this is what is the operation of an 2 to 1 max okay similarly like this typically there are different maxes are available so 2 to 1 max 4 to 1 max so 4 to 1 max means how many select lines will be there so it will be having a two select lines so 2 to the power of n okay n so 2 to the power of 2 so that is equals to 4 so that means here n equals to 2 so how many number of select lines we needed so two select lines are needed okay so 8 is to 1 max we will need a three select lines and then 16 is to 1 we will have in the four select lines will be there okay so where we'll going to use this digital multiplexers so digital multiplexers will go to use in then where we have a multiple inputs and we'll going to have a only a single output so you can see in a communication where multiple channels will be connected to transmit to a single channel okay so example if you going to take so you can see here actually a typical application of a max where there is a multiple inputs will be there but we'll be having only the one output so assuming we have only one speaker okay which is will be connected to the different source so that may be connected to an mp3 player so one of them may be connected to the a laptop another may be connected to the a digital satellite box and another may be connected to the a digital cable tv so one of the input will be connected to the destination according to the selection of the ear so if you select an mp3 by selecting the select pins are 0 0 then the input mp3 audio will be connected to the speaker so whatever we are going to playing in the mp3 so that will going to be available in our speaker okay so similar like this if you going to select in a 0 1 so then the audio of an laptop will be connected to the speaker so like this according to select lines so the one of the input will be connected to the a output so here yeah, there is what say multiple source and when we are having a single destinations we will going to use the uh, max so that's what even in that will be used in the communication so example when we are having a multiple inputs we have okay multiple communications channels will be there that need to be transmitted to a single channel then we will going to use the max okay the multiplexer we will going to use there so we will going to connect the uh, multiple channels will be connected to a single channel according to the and the transmission of the data will be done according to the select lines okay so these are the applications of an multiplexers okay to understand this operation of a multiplexer so let's take an, an 4 is to 1 max okay so the 4 is to 1 multiplexer so 4 is to 1 multiplexers will having n four inputs so okay let's name as an i3 i2 i1 and i i1 i naught and there will be two select lines so let's name as an s1 and s naught and there will be one output so that is with a y okay so this is the a block diagram of an 4 is to 1 max so we're going to have a four inputs i3 i2 i1 and i naught and the two select lines s1 s naught and the y okay so how this work max will work so according to the select lines of the s1 and s naught okay so any one of the input or i naught to i3 will be connected to the y okay so whatever the data lines will be there so if i3 equals to 1 then the output will be 1 like that will be there so example the functionality of the 4 is to 1 max will be represented in a two table here see so when the s1 is not or 0 0 then the y will be corresponding to the i naught so that means output will be corresponding to the i naught so whatever it may be the i naught so if the i naught is 0 output will be 0 if the i naught is 1 output will be the 1 whatever the data lines will be there in the i naught that will be reflecting the output so when the select lines are 0 0 so similarly when the select lines are 0 1 then the output will be i 1 okay so that what so here we have i 3 i 2 i 1 and i naught so if you have a two select lines s 1 
and this is not and in your one output y ok. So, as per the s naught and s 1 combinations output will be reflected. So, if you 0 0 i naught will come. So, that means if the i naught equals to 1 if you give so then the output will be 1. If you give a i naught 0 on that time then the y, y will be 0 according to the whatever the value of the i naught. Similarly, so when the combination is 0 1 then the y will be i 1. So, whatever the data line will be there. So, it may be 0 or it may be 1. So, according to this data line the y will be reflect that. Okay. So, this is the operation of then 4 is to 1 max. Then how to design a circuit? So, we have a two table. So, let us write the switching equation. For that we can write the L logic diagram. So, how to write a switching equations actually? So, switching equation when we having a logic 1 right in the two table when we having a logic 1 all that input combinations will be that all the mean terms will be all uh, together. So, that will going to give then our y. Okay. Okay, then how we will going to write a switching equation? So, switching equation y will be enable when when the input combinations are 0 0 select lines are 0 0 and the, when the input is i naught. Similarly, y will be enabled when when the input combination is 0 1 and the i 1 is enabled or i 1 data is given to the i 1. So, that is why the switching equations will be write as s 1 and s naught are 0 0. So, that is why we will go write as s 1 bar, s naught bar and the i naught. Okay. So, then one more plus next 0 1 i 1. So, s 1 is 0 and s 1 s naught is 1. So, this corresponds to the s 1 bar s naught i 1. Okay. So, next 1 0 i 2. So, that is s 1 s naught bar i 2 plus s 1 s naught 1 and the i 3. So, that is related to the s 1 s naught i 3. Okay. Okay. So, this is the switching equation. So, to analyze the switching equations, let us write the a logic diagram. Okay. In the logic diagram, let us, let us analyze how this uh, multiplexer will going to work okay, as per the input of the select lines. So, this is the logic diagram of an 4 is to 1 circuit. Okay. So, this is what S1 and S0 okay, and these are the inputs. Okay. All this, this is this is diagram will be with respect to this equation. Okay. So, this corresponding to the this is a one AND gate, this is another AND gate. So, okay, like this. So, this corresponds to the, so here this corresponds to the S0 bar, S1 bar, S0 bar and the I0. So, this connected to the S1 bar and this line is connected to the S0 bar, okay, and the I0, okay. So, let us verify this one, okay, let us analyze. So, assuming that when you are taking the condition when S1 and S0 are 0, 0. So, when S1 and S0 are 0, 0, that means corresponding to here actually. So, this is 0 and this is 0. That means here we are getting a 1 and here also we are getting a 1. So, that means here 1, 1 will be there. Okay. That is, I will go to write here. So, when the S1 and S0 are 0, okay, for condition. So, this means this is the input will be 1 because it's complemented s1 bar s0 bar and i0 and then this will be 1 and this is 0 i1 next this corresponds to here 1 sorry 0 1 i2 plus 0 0 i3 right okay so we know that the so and gate output will be 1 so only when the all the inputs are 1 see here all the inputs are 1 here actually then if the i0 is 1 then the output of this AND gate will be 1. So, and this will be connected to the Y. So, here are remaining inputs of the outputs of the AND gates are 0. So, this means all the outputs of here will be all the inputs of the OR gate will be 0. Because we know that any one of the input is 0 for an AND gate that will be output will be 0. So, this lead to a 0, this lead to a 0 and this leads to a 0. And this leads depends on the I naught actually. If the i naught equals to 0, then the output will be 0. If i naught equals to 1, then the output will be 1. The hand gate of this will be 1. So, according to this one, if you have 
or get together all 1, so output will be 1. If it is i0 equals to 0 here, again output will be 0. Okay. So, like this, so we can verify the uh, two table. So, y will be depends on the i0. Okay. When the input select lines are 0, 0, y will be depends on the i0. If the i0 equals to 0, then the output will be 0. If the i0 equals to 1, then the output will be 1. So, all these are R together. Okay. Okay. So, I hope you understood how an multiplexer will going to work. So, similarly, we can see an 8 is to 1 max or 8 to 1 multiplexer. So, we are going to have an 8 inputs. So, D0 to D7 and how many number of select lines are needed here actually? So, 8 so that means 2 to the power of 3. Okay, that means we need a 3 select lines are needed. So, here are 3 select lines. So, named as an S2, S1 and S0. Okay, so, in the input select lines D0 to D7. Okay few multiplexes may have the enable lines. Okay. Usually all the ICs will have enable lines. So, here the multiplexer is having an enable line. Okay. So, this is the enable. So, that means this indicates only, so when the enable line is enabled or a logic one, then only the multiplexer will be active. Okay. Then only the output will be depends on the select lines. Okay, any one of the input will be connected to the output only when the multiplexer is enabled. If the enable is this, Disabled. That means if a logic, if a giving a logic zero, then the output will be zero. Okay. What it may be the select lines or what it may be the inputs. Okay. So the functional table of an this eight is to one max is given here actually. See, if the enable line is zero, the what it may be the input combinations, then the output will be logic zero. Okay. So what it may be the select lines. Okay. If the enable is, is 1, logic 1, then so according to the select lines, the output will be depends. Okay. If the select lines are 0, 0, 0, then the output will be D naught. That means, so any, as already said, any one of the input will be connected to the output. So, here D naught will be connected to the output when the select lines is 0, 0, 0. So, similarly, so when the select lines are 0, 0, 1 and the enable is 1, then the D1 will be connected to the output. That means, if the D1 line, whatever the data will be there, that will be available as an output. So, D0 is 1, output is 1, D0 is 0, output will be 0. So, like this, for the different combinations, you can see. So, you can see the, so 1, 0, 0, D4 will be connected to the output. Similarly, 1, 1, 1, D7 will be connected to the output. Okay. So, this is how an 8 is to 1 multiplexer will going to be work. Okay. So, these multiplexers are available as an integrated circuit. Okay. So, we can say this is several digital multiplexers, MSI devices, that is what MSI corresponds to the medium scale integrated circuits. Okay. So, devices are available. So, example we are going to say as IC74153, it is an dual 4 is to 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, similarly, we have one more IC that is IC74151, it is a single 8 is to 1 multiplexer and the IC74150, it is a single 16 to 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, multiplexer always only having only one output. So, that is why we are going to have only one output, but we are having a multiple inputs will be there. So, 4 is to 1 or 8 is to 1 or a 16 is to 1. Okay. So, let us analyze the how the IC, the 74153 is there. So, what is the pin diagram of that IC and the, what is the functionality of that one. Okay. So, how to use that one for generating the Boolean functions. Okay. So, the IC 74153 dual 4 is to 1 max will be there. Okay. There will be two 4 is to 1 max will be connected. So, that means we will going to have 8 inputs and the 2 select lines. The select lines will be having only the 2 but to enable the individual 4 is to 1 max, we are going to have a 2 enable lines are there actually. Okay. So, IC7415 is a dual 4 is to 1 max that can select a 2 bits of the data from the out up to 8 source. Okay. So, under the control of the common select inputs. 
that means only we having a two select lines will be there but the input will be the 8 okay so you can see here actually so this is the operation diagram okay so this is the uh, logical diagram and this is the pin diagram okay so this pin number 1 pin number 2 is corresponds to the different inputs and outputs okay so here whatever the four inputs we have okay so that is corresponding to the year a not to a3 so another inputs b not to b3 okay next the two select lines are the s not and the s1 okay to operate individually so even with this ic or enables the operation can be done in the individual that means a 4 is to 1 marks can be operate this 4 is to 1 marks can be operate and this 4 is to 1 can be operate separately okay to enable this one okay we have a two enable lines are there so two enable lines are or e1 and the e2 so keep in mind these two are actual low input pins so that's why we going to indicate it with a bubble okay that means only when you give a zero e1 will be active so when you give a zero to the e2 then the e2 will be active okay so this was the dual 4 is to 1 max so that means we'll have to get two outputs corresponding to the this is the one output corresponds to the this max and another output corresponds to the this max so that's the the outputs are represented as an y1 and the y2 okay so y1 y2 are forced to low when the considering the enable pins are i so that means as i said these are the active low pins when we giving a i1 and e1 and e2 are 1 1 then the output will be zero because both the mux will be disabled okay e1 is disabled means this mux will be disabled and e2 is disabled means this mux is disabled so when both are logic i so that means both the mux are disabled so output will be zero okay let us have the function table or we can say the two table so you can see the two table when the so here since we having the 4 is to 1 both are having the same functions okay so let us take the only 1 4 is to 1 max understanding a 1 4 is to 1 max will be the similar to the another one okay so just we going to having replace with the different inputs so here we have taken a a1 a2 a3 a1 a0 to a3 so but if you take a another max it will be b0 to b3 that is it okay so see when the enable pin is 0 then the select lines are 0 0 then the output y1 will be because will be the a0 whatever the data will be there in the a0 that will be reflected in the y1 so what other inputs whatever it may be a1 may be the a2 and a3 will be whatever it may be the data but output will be corresponds to the a0 okay similarly when the select lines are 0 1 and then the a1 will be connected to the y1 okay and similarly when the data select lines are 1 0 s1 so s0 so 1 0 and then the a2 will be connected to the y1 output similarly 1 1 then the a3 output will be connected to the y1 but if the enable pin is deactivated that means it's a logic i then the output will be 0 whatever it may be the input comes input select lines are the even the input lines okay even the select lines are whatever it may be okay so don't care okay that means to indicate with it don't care xx okay a 0 or 1 output will be always equals to 0 because this mux is deactivated how so we select give a given a even equals to logic 1 so since it's an active low pin so when you give a logic 1 so it will be deactivated but if you give a logic 0 see here if you give a logic 0 okay so it will be activated so activated means output will be respond as per the select lines the so same way we can analyze with the second mux also that means here will be y2 will be there and here will be the b0 b1 b2 b3 as the select lines the same select lines here actually so as the we have only the two select lines so according to the s0 and s0 will be the p0 may be selected to the y1 so when the s1 s0 are 0 0 okay same way so hope you understood ic74153 okay so similarly so that is let's move to the next ic available that is our 74151 that is an 8 is to 1 where it is having a single 8 is to 1 max okay so this is what ic 74151 it is an 8 is to 1 multiplexer which has a three select lines and that will be having an eight data inputs and will be having a only one output okay so this eight data inputs are represented as a d0 to d7 okay so this is an logic symbol and this is the pin diagram okay so the pin diagram corresponds to the pin number 1 pin number 2 
So, and the we have a 16 pin IC, this is an 16 pin IC. So, pin number 1 to pin number 7 will be corresponding to the D3, D2, D1, D0, Y, Y bar. So, keep in mind here we have a two outputs actually, two output lines, but another output will be the complementary form. So, one is true form, another is a complementary form. So, we can say only one output because output will be the always one, we are going to take a Y, but another complement of it is available, not any logically there is no change. Okay, only the complement will be there. So, that is what if you are having a 0 here, you will going to get a 1 year. Okay, that is it. There is no any other logic for this output, only the complement of that one. So, that is why we can say only one output. Okay. So, and here, so this is having a 16 pin IC and the pin number 8 and the pin number 16 corresponds to the so ground and the VCC. Okay. So, remaining V pins are corresponding to the 8 inputs, 3 select lines and the enable and the 2 outputs. Okay, so this was the pin diagram. Okay, what is the function tape table? Function table or two table of this one? Let's see here. So this is the function table. Okay, as the input of the C B A. Okay, or we can say A B C. So this corresponding to the A B C are corresponding to the actually S two S one and S not. So this is corresponding to the S two S one and the S not. Okay. So, C corresponds to the S2, B corresponds to S1 and A corresponds to the S0. According to the inputs, okay, select inputs, the output will be depends on the, the input. Okay. So, and again enable pin is there. So, only if the enable pin is I. Okay. So, again see here, so here the enable pin is an actual low pin actually. So, this bubble is there. So, and again it is an actual low input pin. That means, we need to give a logic 0 to activate. So, if you give a logic 1, then the diff entire IC will be disabled. Okay. So, that means, so if, the, if you give an a 0 here, okay, then this MUX will be activated. If you give a logic 1, this MUX will be deactivated. Okay. On that time, whatever it may be the inputs or a select lines, output will be always going to be 0 here and a 1 will be here. Okay. But if the logic, if you give a logic 0, then the output will depends on the select lines and the inputs. Okay. So, this is the logic diagram and this is the two table. So, as usual we can say, so when the inputs are 0, 0, 0 and the enable pin is 0, okay, then the output will be corresponds to the D naught. If the D naught is 0, output will be 0. If the D naught 1, output will be 1. That means, whatever the data line will be there, uh, whatever the data line D naught will be there, that will going to be reflect here actually. Okay. So, similarly 0 0 1 D 1, 1 1 1 D 7. Okay. So, if the enable pin is I, so what it may be the select lines, output will be always equals to 0. Okay. So, this is what the function table or a two table of an 8 is to 1 max and this is a logic diagram. So, we can analyze the logic diagram as we have done for the 4 is to 1 max, same way we can analyze. Okay. So, next we will move to the next topic. Okay. So, any size of a multiplexer can be implemented or realized by using a particular multiplexer. So, example, we can implement a 16 to 1 multiplexer by using the 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, here we can, so you can see the block diagram. Okay. So, here we are using a 4 is to 1 max, 4 is to 1 max, 4 is to 1 max, 4 is to 1 max and there will be one more 4 is to 1 max. So, that will go to implement a 16 is to 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, here we will going to use the 16 is to 1 multiplexer, we are going to have a 4 select lines. right? So, here these two are the select lines corresponding to the S1 and S0 and the next another in select lines S2 and the S3. Okay. So, you can see the two table here. Okay. So, when the S3 and S2, S1 are 0, 0, 0, okay, then the D0 will be selected as an output. So, here D0 will be represented actually I0 here. Okay. So, that means, so I0 will be available as an output. Okay. So, let us analyze. So, when the S3 and S2 are 0, 0, okay, when the S2 and S3 are 0, 0, then that means output will, this MUX output will be connected to the, the first input. The first input is connect, connected to the first MUX. Okay, first output of the MUX is connected to the, so here this first input here actually, okay, this will be enabled, okay, when the S3 and S2 are 0, 0. Okay, when these two are 0, 0, 
So, this to 0, 0 means so this will be connected to the output, right? Okay. So, when again when the S1 and S2 are 0, 0, when the S1 and S2 are 0, 0, that means so here I12 is connected to the output, here I8 is connected to the output, here I4 is connected to the output, here I0 is connected to the output. Okay. But whatever it may be their output actually. Okay. But when since is S2 and S3 are 0, 0, so data coming from this point will be connected to the output. So that means you can say I0 is connected to the output. I hope you understood. Okay. So since here 0, 0, this is the line will be connected to the output. So this line is connected to the I0 here because S1 and S0 are 0, 0. Similarly, if you take an S0, S1 or 0 1 okay so this is 0 1 that means actually so i1 will be connected to the output so here the output will be connected to this then where here the output is what our i1 and this i1 will be available as an output here okay so i1 is corresponding to here d1 so that means here we will go to get a d1 okay similarly for the all other combinations Okay. So, example, let us take one more combination. So, when the S3, S21 are 0, 1 okay, and S0, S1, S0 are 0, 0. Okay. So, S3, S2 are 0, 0, 1, 0. So, this corresponds to 1, 0. That means actually, so the third pin will be connected to the output. Okay. Since the S1, S0 are 0, 0, that means here actually I12 is connected to the 0, similarly I8 similarly i4 and the i0 whatever the data will be will be present in the d8 will be connected to here so the remaining outputs will be whatever it may be but since this pin is connected to the output so whatever the data will be there in the d8 that will be connected to the output okay so like this and whatever may be the size of a multiplexer that can be implemented by using the a particular multiplexer okay so similarly we can implement an 16 is to 1 multiplexer by using the 2 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Okay. Now, these multiplexers will be even going to use for the implementation of an a Boolean functions. So, we can realize that any Boolean functions by using an multiplexers. Okay. Let us see this one how we can implement it or how we can realize an Boolean functions by using the multiplexers. Let us take a, so by using the multiplexer, we can implement a Boolean functions. Okay. So, let us take an example, realize of adder using an IC 74153. So, what is a 74153? So, 74153 is an actually a dual 4 is to 1 mux. So, what we have just seen that one. Okay. So, so we know that the, what is a true table of an half adder. So, this is a true table of an half adder. So, there is what? So, inputs will be the 2 a b and the outputs will be the sum and the carry, right? So, 0 0 output will be 0 1, 0 1 sum will be 1, carry will be 0 and the inputs are 1 0, the outputs will be 1 0, sum will be 1 and the carry will be 0 and when the inputs are 1 1, sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1. Right. So, this is what we know actually. Now, we need to implement this logic by using the IC 74153. So, that is what is the problem, right? So, we need to realize the off adder by using the 74153. So, that means 74153 IC must act as an off adder. Okay. Like that, we need to be configured. Okay. Then, how there will be the connections? How the ICs will going to be realized? Let us understand here actually. Okay. Now, let us take the two table of our 74153. So, already we have discussed this one. So, only when the enable pin is 0, okay, and then the according to the inputs S1 and S0, Y output will depend on the any one of the inputs. 0, 0, A0 will be selected. Similarly, 0, 1, A1, 1, 0, A2 will be selected. 1, 1, A3 will be selected. Similarly, for the another MUX, since because 74153 have a dual 4 is to 1, similarly S0, S1 and S0 are 0, 0, Y2 will be corresponding to the B0, Y2 will be connected to here 0, 1, Y2 will be connected to the B1, like that. Okay. So, this is the you need to know that one. Okay. So, now we will go to implement the this off adder by using the S74153. So, let us have the 74153. Okay. So, here so these are the 8 inputs we have A1, A0 to A3, similarly B0 to B3. Okay. So, we need to activate both the 
multiplexer. So that's why we're going to connect E1 and E2 will be the zero. Okay. So E1 and E2 must be zero because both the must must be enabled. And let's comes to here. So these are the VCC ground corresponds to the pin number 16 and the 8. So you can see here. These are the VCC pin number 16 and the ground pin pin number 8. Okay, these two are corresponding to here. Okay, and the remaining will be the inputs. Then how the inputs will be given so that the output will be behave as an of adder. Okay. So we know that whatever the two in select lines will be there, that will be represented as an our inputs actually. So our half better inputs are A and B. So we know that so S1 and the S0. So S1, S0 corresponds to the A and B respectively. So S1 will be connected to the A and the S0 will be connected to the B. Okay, these two are the inputs of an off adder. Okay, we know that when these two are 0, 0, so A and B are 0, 0, what is the sum and what is the carry? Right. So sum will be 0 and the carry will be 0. So the, what is will be going to get output here? So this corresponds to y1. y1 will be when the inputs are 0, 0. That is a, a and b are 0, 0. That means s1 and s0 are 0, 0. When s1 and s0 are 0, 0, we know that y1 will be connected to the a0 and the y2 will be connected to the b0. Right. So let us make a0 and the b0 corresponds to the two table of an off adder. Okay. So, off adder 2 table when the inputs are 0, 0, sum should be 0 and the carry should be 0. So, here sum and out carry outputs are represented with the y1 and the y2. So, whatever the two outputs we have sum and carry that will be represented as in y1 and y2 with respect to the IC74153. y1 is equal to sum and y2 will be equal to the carry. Okay. So that means when you are giving a 0, 0, we know that when A0 will be connected to the sum, that means Y1. Similarly, B0 will be connected to the Y2, that is will be carry. So what is the sum and carry corresponding to the input of 0, 0? So sum is 0 and the carry is 0. So that is why let us make the A0 equals to 0 and the B0 equals to 0. Okay. So that means 0, 0 will go to get a 0 also 0, 0. Because this depends on the A0, B0, A0 is also 0, so sum is 0 and here B0 is 0, so carry is 0. Similarly, if it comes to the another next input 0, 1, if the input are 0, 1, A is 0 and the B is 1, so that means A1 will be connected to the Y1 and B1 is connected to the Y2. Okay. What we need actually for output 1, 0 we needed. So that is why A1 will be connected to the logic 1 that means will be connected to the plus VCC and the B0 will be connected to the sorry B1 will be connected to the ground because we need a 0 because these two outputs correspond to the sum and carrier. So Y1 is sum. So when the inputs are 1, 0 sorry 0, 1 when the input is 0, 1 okay, and then that will be corresponds to A2 will be A1 will be connected to the Y1. So that will be sum will be equal to 1 and the B1 is connected to the Y2. So the carry will be equal to the 0. So that will go to implement the 1, 0 when the input is 0, 1. Okay. Similarly, if when the input is 1, 0, that means A equals to 1 and the B equals to 0, A2 will be connected to the Y1 we know because according to this two table. So we know that when the 1, 0, the A2 will be connected to the output. So, A2 will be connected to the Y1. Similarly, here B2 will be connected to the Y2. Okay. So, what is the output we needed? 1, 0. So, let us make A2 equals to 1 and B2 equals to 0. So, that the sum and carry will go to reflect with the whatever the output we have. So, 1, 0. So, here 1, 0 will go to get when the inputs are 1, 0. That is A equals to 1 and the B equals to 0. So, that will go to get a 1 and the 0. Okay, hope you understood. Similarly, when they are giving a 1, 1, we know that. So, when you are giving a 1, 1, A3 will be connected to the Y1, that is sum, and the B3 will be connected to the Y2, that is the carry. Okay. What is output we needed? 0, 1. So, let us connect a 0 to the A3 and the B3 will be 1. So, that means when we having an 1, 1 input combination, so that the sum and carry will be the 0, 1. Okay. So, like this we can implement an of adder by using the IC74153. 
okay so this is a half adder is actually two variable function so this anyway any two variable functions can be implemented like this okay by using by using an ic 74153 okay whatever the output will be needed according to that one we can be connect the input okay so example if you going to take like this considering an equation f of a comma b will be equals to summation of 0 2 okay so this is the two inputs so that means we are going to have a four combinations right so this corresponds to what actually the according to this equation a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 then the output so we will call this a y equals to so y will be corresponding to the when this input is 0 0 output will be 1 so and for the 1 0 output will be 1 for the remaining will be 0 according to this equation right 0 and 2 will be 1 remaining will be 0 now we need to implement this one so if to implement this function in an 74153 only one of the mux is en enough actually okay we can use the a naught to a 3 or we can use the b naught to b 3 okay since we have only one output here we had a two outputs so that's why we use the both the mux actually since here we have only one output we can use the any one mux we can be used okay so that means let's realize this one in the by using this 74153 okay so we can realize as so this is 74153 okay so this is the input corresponds to the a1 corresponding to the a2 and these two are corresponding to the s1 and the s0 okay so we have a0 a1 a2 a3 b0 b1 b2 b3 and we having own outputs y1 and the y2 to implement a two variable function so only any one of the mux is enough okay so we can use so assuming this is a 4 is to 1 max and this is another 4 is to 1 max okay any one is enough for us to implement a two variable function so i will going to give a logic zero so that means i will connect a ground to the a1 and i will connect to going to give a vcc to the e2 so that means this mux will be disabled okay so this will be the y for us and these two will be the inputs for us okay and the a b so a will be connected to the s1 okay so because s1 is what the uh, msb bit here so you can see s1 s0 so a b should be connected to here so we're going to connect a and b here okay now what should be the when the input are 0 0 so we can so we'll have the two table here so a b y 0 0 output must be 1 0 1 output must be 0 1 0 output must be 1 and 1 1 output must be 0 right this what the our function okay so that means here yeah, the inputs a not a1 a2 a3 will be connected as per their output actually okay when are 0 0 output must be 1 so that means a not will be connected to the vcc or we can say logic 1 okay and then then only when the this two are 0 0 then the a0 will be we know that a0 will be connected to the y1 so a0 is 1 so y will be 1 okay so that is how we will going to implement similarly when the 0 1 output must be 0 so this y this a1 pin will be connected to the ground and similarly a2 pin will be connected to the vcc and a3 pin will be connected to the ground okay like this any two variable function can be implemented by using an 74153 okay so even we can use, implement the three variable function also but how that one we'll going to see in the next okay so next we'll move to the next problem okay so realize the boolean function is a three variable boolean function okay so that is f of x y z by using the ic 74151 
So we know that 74151 it is an 8 is to 1 marks. Okay, that means how many select lines will be there? So the select lines will be 3. So inputs are 3. So that means same way how we have done, same we will going to analyze for even for the 8 is to 1 marks. Okay. So whatever the inputs we have x, y, z, okay, that will going to be used for the our select lines. So as per the select lines here we have to we have okay. So we will going to give the so MSV bit is the x. Okay, so that's why we will go to connect the C will be connected to the X and the B will be connected to the Y and the A will be connected to the Z. Okay, so this corresponds to select lines C, B, A, X, Y, Z. As per the input of the gear 0, 0, 0, okay, we know that output will be selected with respect to the D naught. Okay, so what is the function we needed? So pin number was that means the inputs 1, 2, 4, 5, 7 corresponding to the inputs 1, 2, 4, 5, 7 output must be 1 so for the remaining combinations output must be 0. So that means for the combinations of 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 or 1, 0, 1 and the 1, 1, 1 output must be 1. So that means when the select lines are 0, 0, 1. So that means 0, 0, 1 means D1 will be connected to the output. So let us make the D1 to the VCC because on that time we need a logic one right similarly so that's why d1 d2 okay 1 2 4 5 7 d4 d so yeah d5 and the d7 will be connected to the vcc and remaining inputs will be connected to the ground okay when we connected to the ground actually so that means so when we giving the inputs are 0 0 0 so in the select lines in the abc or xyz are 0 0 0 okay so this corresponds to the x y z okay 0 0 0 output will be 0 because where d naught is connected to the 0 so output will be 0 okay and the 0 0 1 output will be 1 because d naught d 1 is connected to the output on that time where d 1 is connect, having a plus vcc that is logic 1 so d 1 will be connected to the output so like this for any other combinations that is 2 4 5 7 output will be 1 for the other rest of the 2, 4, 5, 7 that is if it may be the 3, 6 output will become a 0. So this is how we are going to implement an, a 3 variable function by using the 74151. Okay. So we have a few more problems we are going to discuss in the next class. Thank you.